So today we're starting on a project that I've been thinking about for quite a while. Thought about getting someone else to do, but we're DIYers, so of course we're gonna do it ourselves. Here's what we're gonna be doing. We are going to be, this is my neighbor's fence right here. We're going to be fencing this off to be flush with my neighbor's fence. Our gate is all the way back there, which is fine. Uh, and we're gonna leave that, but we want to add a gate right here. And the main reason that we're deciding to do it right now is because we want to put a doggy door to the outside. We're gonna do an in-wall doggy door, not right here, on the other side of the air conditioner. And so since we wanna do that, we wanna make a little doggy run. That'll be easy for our dogs to go outside, have this little space, it's not a lot, but just to go to the bathroom and let themselves out. So we are going to be building this gate right here. We're gonna start right now by, um, he's gonna be digging holes to see, just small holes to see if we run into any pipes or sprinkler heads or anything like that, sprinkler tubing. And we got an auger, so we're gonna be digging holes um, down here to put the poles in. So let me show you the plan. This is the gate we have now and we're gonna be replicating this. So he's measuring to make sure the right distance, then we can figure out exactly how many uh, or how wide it'll be at the front. Um, but we know we have at least enough supplies for this and we'll make adjustments as needed. But essentially this is the design that we're gonna copy and bring just forward for where we need it to go. So this is the inside of the gate and what we did, we took a picture of this and broke it down into individual pieces to figure out what we needed. So we have these metal posts, these metal posts, there's three. So we also got three for this new gate. We broke this down, this is a two by four, these are two by fours, um, these, this top board is a two by six, this is also a two by four. We got these brackets. So if you're copying a design and you don't have the plans or anything like that, all you do is just break it down, just look at it in its simplest form and break it down into what it is. So we'll open this up and hopefully my dogs won't get out. And so you can see on the end of the gate, you can measure this. So this is a piece of its own. So this is a two by six, this is a two by four. And then this for the fascia on the front is a one by two. So that's literally all you have to do is break it down into smaller pieces and figure out exactly what you need. These pieces look like a lot of hardware, but it's really just a kit that we bought at Home Depot. So that's the starting point for working on a design that you don't have the plans for, that maybe you just wanna replicate, just break it down into each individual piece, and then it's easy. So we're digging down just a little bit to see if there's any tubing or anything we're gonna hit with the big auger once we start on that, because that could cause a lot of damage if there's something there. But we live in Texas, our soil is terrible, it's full of limestone, so it's really not realistic to dig two foot holes by hand. So this is exactly why we got an auger to dig these holes, because this is, what, 18 inches? Or less than? It's around there. Well, 16. a little bit more than a foot, but yeah. um, so I had to get actually shorter poles so that it'll line up with exactly where it's supposed to be with the fence. It should be a little bit lower than that. So these are seven foot poles now, um, but with our soil in central Texas, you can see there are rocks down there and the auger will not go past those. They, they're huge, can't break it up. He's been working on it for a while. So he has these other two dug as well for the other braces. That'll be the other um, end support. And then this one right here will be the support for the other side of the door. So we're about to set the poles in these three holes that he dug. And instead of using concrete, we got this bag of fence post mix. It's a pretty cool thing. It says it replaces two 50 pound bags of concrete mix. How does that work? There's two compounds in here. The reason it comes in the baggie all like split like this 
is because once I put it over my knee, which makes that 90 degree surface, I start pulling it back and forth, it'll start mixing the two things in there automatically. It'll break the little seal and start shaking. And after 15 seconds, it starts activating. And that's when we gotta pour it into the hole with the post already in there, set pretty straight because this starts to harden in about three minutes it's set and you can leave the pull by itself and it's ready to go. And then two hours later it cures and we can get started on attaching things and pulling and tugging on it. So let's do it. Now we have the poles all set up with the foam. It's hardened. I mean, it's in there. It's not going anywhere. We just loosely put the brackets around them that we're going to attach these two by fours to and measured wood from there. We're gonna put a two by four here, attach the brackets to it, and that'll be the top of um, the fence. So we are almost done with the fence. It has honestly taken such a little time. We had a little hiccup with the auger, but otherwise it's flown by. It's been really simple to do. So we're actually in the middle of building the door in place. And we have to do this because the floor is angled and it needs to be able to swing freely. So what we did, we, had, we cut these two by fours and attached one picket and then attached it to the hinge and then did the second one attach the two by four down there, and then finish off the frame with this side that is going to swing and close right there. We actually had to cut this one down, and so we just used the other piece so it matches up perfectly and has a little room to swing. And so we're just going to finish up by attaching the rest of the pickets in the middle, and we'll be done. So last night we worked into the dark. We thought we were gonna be able to get it done, but we ran out of light. So we're finishing this up today. We have a couple openings still left and we have to adjust some things, but let's look at how we'll finish that up. Here we are as we're finishing up the gate and he is putting on the handle, allow us to open and close it easily, and it's all done. It took us a few hours and I mean, here we have this beautiful fence. It hides our air conditioning unit and this is gonna be super functional for us. It's not one of the most exciting projects as far as like, oh, this is so gorgeous, but, <laughs> but it is gonna be super duper functional because all of this area now will be a dog run. And if you wanna keep up with this series of stories, we're going to be putting in a doggy door into the wall for them to be able to come out here. So that'll be coming up soon. Like I said before, we duplicated the design of the existing fence to match everything, make sure we don't have any issues with the HOA. So all we did um, was really work off of our neighbor's fence here. And on the inside, you can see, we put these two by fours to help hold everything together on the inside of the door, hold the latch in place, the handle. It works really well. The foam is super sturdy. There's some wiggle, it's a fence, but it has no more wiggle than what is already there with concrete. So I'm really happy we did that. It was super easy. You really can't tell. We do still need to stain this to be the same color as that, but we're tired. <laughs> I'm calling this 
quits for now and then we'll work on staining another day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our page to see a lot more videos like this coming soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, Mother. <laughs>